all of a sudden you heard this horrible animal noise, you know, it was like a scream. McClam recalls the morning she found her dog Jack in her backyard, shot. Jack was by the stoop of the door and there was blood all over the ground. Police agree the shooter was likely a neighbor and the possible vantage points are limited. I mean, he was in our backyard, so there's only, you know, and we've got a six foot privacy fence. So there's only so many points you can shoot from. Most kids would be in school, so it would, it would be an adult. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Jack was rushed to the vet and then taken to the Augusta Animal Hospital for emergency surgery. He's doing okay. Um, they were able to repair his colon and his bladder, um, his urethra. They had, they had three holes that they could find, um, but there's likely a fourth because you must have an entry and an exit wound. Even though Jack is home, his chances of survival are still at risk. And he um, had leakage of both urine and um, stool into his abdomen, so he could, you know, the infection is incredibly high, the probability of it. The expenses to the McLam family have been costly, and their monetary situation is already difficult. Right now we're at around $6,000, um, and we haven't received a bill yet from Augusta Animal Hospital. Well, we do have a newborn baby, and um, I, uh, you know, I'm on maternity leave right now and paid, so we're on one income for the next few months. The McLams say they want to move. To be quite honest, we don't, <laughs> we don't feel safe being in this house anymore because, you know, we can't even take our dogs outside and people are shooting. I don't know. We, we both just want, we just want to move out of this house and get out of Stan and it's going to take a little longer, um, to do that, obviously, with the money situation where it is now, so, but we're going to get out of here as soon as we can. Police are still investigating the neighborhood for suspects. Charles House, WHSV.